Right. I've got to fix this fence, Ronnie. Because you and your mates have been going out next door and upsetting next door. And that can cause us problems. To be honest, he's a bit of a dick. Problem with oh okay. I thought you were helping me with the fence. Hoti, I was just explaining to Ronnie that <clears throat> you mustn't keep going next door. Do you think you can? Understand the reason why that we mustn't do that. What are you doing over there now? Could you explain it to Ronnie? Do you think? Well, we'll try and see it from our next door neighbour's point of view. That I mean, there he's in business. And his job is to make money. I know, it's disgusting. But that's his job. I oh, know. And when you go over there on his land, you could cost him a lemon or two. And that might mean he only gets two kilos of lemons rather than three kilos of lemons. Or, in his case, maybe 49,999 kilos rather than 50,000 kilos. Because you've gone over there and you've disrupted something. I don't even know. What can you disrupt on a lemon tree? You don't even eat the lemons. What do you do? You wander around eating the grass that grows not even near the lemon trees. Anyway, it's not for me to argue, is it? You shouldn't be on there and that's the end of it. All right? Okay? So consider yourself told off. I told him I was going to tell you off, and I have now. Now I've got to fix this fence. All right. That's the last we're going to talk about it, okay? Okay? No, we're not going to mention it anymore. Just promise me you won't do it again. Hoti? Hoti, promise me you won't do it again. It doesn't really seem like much of a promise, to be honest. <laughs>